Hey everybody, welcome back to Bruce's Bees. I'm here in my backyard. It's about 59, 60 degrees, and it's gonna warm up just a little bit more as time goes on. I wanna try out three new products today, and I'll explain that to you in just a minute, but before we get started, if you go down below and hit the like button, I would appreciate it. If you'll remember this, a nuke right here, and we went in it, I think about three weeks ago, they were doing well. If you watch the bees, they are bringing in a lot of pollen from somewhere, but this is gonna be our guinea pig for these three new products that we're gonna try, and they are right over here. Went to the Hive Life conference back in the uh, first part of January. When I was there, I talked to the May people, and they sent me this. It's a seven frame nuke. I have not pulled it out of the box yet. I think it's gonna be very similar to that one over there, but it, there are some different features. We also have a sample that was sent to me from Premier Foundation. There are a couple of frames in there with Premier Foundation. And then I've got this Hive Alive supplement we're gonna use as well. This is enough for up to 50 colonies. So the goal is to transfer this nuke into this Apame hive, which has two more frames, seven frames. The two extra frames will be this Premier Foundation with some Hive Alive food to help stimulate these bees to grow quickly, hopefully. So I'm gonna pull the Apame hive out of here. We're gonna do a quick little walkthrough on the, on the Apame hive and show you the different parts and features. But this video really is not about all the different parts and features of the Apame. It's more about transferring these bees into the Apame and putting these products into use. Well, here's a seven frame Apame Nick box. Uh, it looks very much like the 10 frame, just smaller. It does have uh, two definite entrances on either side right here, with doors that slide open and close. Also has these little disc up here. For transporting these little holes allow ventilation. You can also completely close it or you can put a queen excluder uh, set up right here. And of course that's all the way open. Has the great latches on the side that help hold the lid on. I really like that feature and these handles make it easy to carry. It also has these discs in the back. So I guess if you're trying to set up a, a double nuke situation, you can open uh, a disc on the front and open a disc on the back and close the other two entrances. And that'll kind of keep the bees oriented coming in from different directions. Then we have the, the feeders. These are set up so that you can have them on a syrup setting where the bees climb up the ladder and can eat the syrup, but the bees won't escape out into the syrup. This is the candy side right here, where the bees can come under here and get your candy, your pollen patties, whatever type of more solid food you're feeding them. Got two feeders, so I guess you can feed a little bit of both if you want. Uh, they did send it with frames, but there's no foundation, and I, I've got frames already. We're just gonna be putting frames in here, so I won't be using those, at least not right now. The bottom is like a, a screen bottom board but there is a tray like on the tin frame that you can pull out uh, you can put diatomaceous earth down here or whatever to help destroy mites and beetles or you can just use it as a bottom to the hive now this divider right here is pretty cool it's got three of these discs right here now that's completely closed if you want to totally separate uh, two colonies in there two sections of the the nucleus hive that's a queen excluder setting right there and this is like a ventilation setting so the bees can pass the smells between the two sides but none of the bees can get through of course you do that with all three and then you can just drop this thing down in here and divide it into two i think three frame colonies or if you want to isolate one frame for whatever reason on either side you can just put it right here like this that's mainly if you're trying to isolate a queen i think maybe to lay lay up a frame if you want to graft or something like that and you can put it on the the queen excluder side on this side the bees can get in and out and take care of the queen but she can't get over onto into this side kind of neat set up very similar to the tin frame except it has uh, some more purposes and i think it'll be real handy we're gonna try it out so let's get some bees in here here's the premier foundation it's got a lot of wax on it you can tell by looking at it and i'll tell you what when you first open this box up it smells so good oh that smells so good Okay, we're about ready to get started. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna transfer the bees from this standard five frame nuke right here into the seven frame map of May. There's a lot of activity of the bees flying in here. So I think we're gonna have a nice strong colony here still. I hope so. Bees all up in here. They're very calm so far. Smoke them down a little. Smoke them. Yeah, they've been drawing out some comb right here in the lid where the feeder was. Oh yeah, lots of girls on the lid. 
Let's kind of set them right there for now. And I'm going to smoke them off this comb. And we'll actually put this, this extra comb right here in a bucket. I'm going to try and conserve more of that this year because I've got people interested in wax now and I need to try and render more of it. Let's start off with this frame on the outside. Look at all those bees. Entire frame, pretty much a pollen right there. Now I fed them an entire gallon of sugar water when we checked on them the last time. Really no weight to this frame, so I'm glad we're gonna feed them. I think it's a good plan. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these outside frames on the outside in the new nuke box. And then I'm gonna put a frame of this Premier Foundation, the next frame in. We're gonna kind of check aboard them a little bit. I think it'll be okay. Let's see what the next frame holds. Oh my goodness. Nothing but brood right there. Beautiful, and these bees are really calm. I'm real happy with these bees so far. Beautiful frame of brood. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? They are definitely building up. I haven't seen a queen cell yet. Look at those bees. Man, if all my bees could be like these girls, reasonably calm, really building out, and just happy, I'd be a happy beekeeper. You got brood right here, milk brood down here, and I'm sure there are eggs all in this colony. Not really trying to do a thorough inspection, mostly just want to get them transferred over. Yeah, I see eggs right over in this area right here. Once again, I touch the bees gently brood all under there how about that up here we got some open cells some eggs in them right up in here so it's time to give these bees some space I mean, the timing of putting them in this seven framer is perfect and they'll have it filled out very quickly what i'm gonna do now is get this last frame off of here look at all those bees just layered on there Wow. Here's the queen right here. She looks just like a real pretty queen. She's got like a brown colored uh, thorax right there. She is huge. My goodness. So I'm going to put her on the outside. She's actually on the outside frame, believe it or not. Make sure we don't smash her. Put the Premier Foundation in here. For fun, I'm gonna pull this frame of Premier out and see if the bees have already jumped on. Now it's only been in here for a couple of minutes, but uh, let's just see what they're doing. Look at that. Now, that doesn't mean they're working on drawing it out yet, but they are not at all afraid of this Premier Foundation. And they look perfectly happy with it so far. Now we'll see how they draw it out. I imagine they'll draw it out pretty quickly. I'll get these bees off the lid. I'm just gonna kind of shake them. The rest of the bees in the nuke box, I'm gonna bump into the corner like this and put them on the box. And there we have it. We have the bees in the in the box, and these bees are all running. Maybe the queen's worked her way down to this end a little bit, I don't know, but they're all running in this direction. And she was on this last frame, so that makes sense. A lot of the other bees are raising their tails in the air and fanning their wings, uh, which means they're happy. Right now I'm smelling the distinct smell of lemongrass oil. It's the pheromone from the nasinop gland that the bees put out. And boy, it smells so good. Smells is one of the aspects of beekeeping that you obviously you can't explain in a video, but it's awesome. And so the bees are definitely reestablishing this as their new home. Uh, we're gonna get them fed and we're gonna be done. Okay, the bees are pretty much settled in. Now we're going to feed them. I have the feeder set on the syrup mode here where the bees can come up through here and walk down the ladder and get to the syrup without drowning, hopefully. Take the lid off. We're going to fill both of these up with uh, this Hive Alive syrup. Now I mixed, we mixed a gallon of it up. It's probably about one to one or so. And when you mix a gallon of sugar water up, you need two teaspoons of the Hive Alive. Just gonna fill these up. Whoop, it's tilted forward a little bit. Ugh, I need to level that thing off. Let's 
Okay, I leveled it out a little bit. Ugh, hate I did that, but oh well. I don't know how much each of these feeders holds, but I'm gonna work on leveling these off a little bit. I had to rig it up a little bit, but now it's pretty much level. So now we're gonna fill the rest of the way up. So that's over a half a gallon in there total probably. Probably close to three quarters of a gallon, I don't know. Not sure how big those things are, but they use up a majority of our gallon. So we're gonna put these lids on here on the feeders. We're gonna secure the Apame lid down with these latches. And there you have it. We'll see how it works out. Well, the bees seem to like that box just fine and they've settled in nicely. I'm eager to see how the Apame 7 frame works. I'm eager to see how the bees dry out the Premier Foundation. And I'm also eager to see how they do on the Hive Live uh, supplement in their sugar water. Good stuff, fun times. Springtime is upon us. Awesome, y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.